Dharma is not exactly the same as religion. But then, <laughs> if you want to compare with religion, first we have to say something about the meaning of religion. And there are two different meanings. One is the meaning uh, that you Indians are familiar with, which comes from Christianity. And so, their religion means a belief system. It means certain truth claims. You have to believe that it is true that Jesus was resurrected. You know, you have to believe that man has fallen from grace into a state of sinfulness and so on. You know, there are certain things you have to believe to be a Christian. There are certain things you have to believe to be a Muslim. Okay? So, with that meaning, religion has come into India. That is not the original meaning. Okay? The original meaning you find in Cicero, a Roman lawyer and philosopher and politician, and he th explained religion as coming from religere, to read again, to read once more, to read attentively, to really make sure you really know what you're reading. And um, and as such, you see, religio means punctiliousness, to be precise about something, um, to be in full consciousness of something. Uh, and in fact, the meaning has carried over into English, namely in the sense of to do something religiously means to do something with full attention. As they say in Hindi, dhyanse, you see, meditatively, okay? So that really is the meaning of religio. And so when you see, for example, a Japanese tea ceremony, you see, where they do everything ritually with full attention, you know, where every move is predetermined and they have to do it like that and not like that, you see, well, there is no God involved, yet it is religious because they do it with full attention, with mindfully. Eh? And so mindfulness, in fact, is the term of meditation in the West that is nowadays very popular. It is really vipassana, the Buddhist meditation. And so it is called mindfulness. Well, mindfulness is, in fact, the meaning of religio, of religion, originally. But then Christianity turned it into something else, which is a belief system. It is as such that it has come into India and that it has even entered the um, Constitution where Article, I think, 25 says that there is freedom of religion. Freedom of religion, which includes freedom of converting people. Telling people, oh, what you have believed in all your life is wrong. You have to believe in Jesus. Okay? Now, that is not the meaning of dharma. You see, among Hindus and also among Parsis, uh, nobody knew of the concept of conversion. And, and they don't care about conversion, really. Sometimes you have conversion if there is like a, a mixed marriage. Then you see one partner converts to the practices of the other. But it's mainly practices. You see, you can believe anything you want, no matter what sect, what parampara or so you belong to. Uh, you know, so in India, dharma has a lot more to do with what you practice, you know, with um, how you live, what goal you pursue, what norms you observe. So the meaning of dharma is different from the meaning of religion. Uh, that's why, for example, I strongly disagree with the translation in the constitution of secularism as dharma nirpekshata, to be without dharma. You can't be without dharma. All the time you follow a certain pattern, a certain system of rules, even if you have never thought about it. Um, and anyway, it would be bad to be without dharma, you see. And so the better translation is pantha nirpekshata. Pantha means a certain a certain path, a certain form that your religiousness takes. And there you see you have, you have certain differences between Shaivism and Vaishnavism, 
you know, between the Arya Samaj and Buddhism and so on. So you have different paths, of course, yeah, they're legitimate, that's okay, nobody, I mean, it's, it's no trouble to anyone, there are different paths, but you see, they are not in each other's way. And um, so in that sense, yes, you know, you have Dharma, <coughs> but religion is something else. And so the introduction of the concept of religion in India is no gain. 